Hello everyone, this is uh, the video that I promised you with. Uh, it's a revision for the immune system exam that or test that you're having at the end of this week. Uh, it's a good revision since you can repeat it as much as you want. I'll explain it in the same way that I explained it in class. So uh, I'll be drawing the, the steps and details here and hopefully it will be helpful for your revision. Uh, as we said, we're, take, we're talking about uh, the immune system. The immune system is the system in the body that protects our body against foreign invaders. Uh, these foreign invades, invaders, if they cause problems in our body, they'll be called pathogens. A pathogen, for example, a bacteria, uh, will look something like this. Let's say it will have on its surface proteins. Um, still getting used to this pen. Uh, these proteins are called antigens, antigens, and these are like the identity of that pathogen. So when the immune system recognizes this bacteria, it recognizes it through these uh, parts, through these proteins, which are the antigens. Now, when it comes inside our body, uh, of course, it should cross the barriers like the skin, the stomach acid, the mucus. It will be, f uh, it will be faced by the non-specific immune response. The non-specific immune response includes the complements, uh, the, the inflammatory response, uh, the macrophage, etc., which fights off the, 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 the pathogen without recognizing it, so they don't create memory cells. The most important one is the macrophage or the phagocytosis, which comes and eats so let's say this is a cell and this that's the bacteria they come close and they engulf the bacteria now this bacteria will go inside it will be put in a vesicle okay and then you'll have digestive enzymes that will digest that bacteria and get rid of it this will play, play a role in the second in the last line of defense which is the specific immune system. Before we get there, let's talk about this bacteria that, or the bacteria that didn't uh, or weren't eliminated by the non-specific immune response. They, we have three choices. They either got eaten by the macrophage, or uh, if it's a virus or even a bacteria, they might infect a normal cell, so that's a normal cell and they might infected here we will have an infected cell or they might stay free in uh, in the blood and the liquids of the body if they stay free in the liquids of the body they might encounter lymphocytes B lymphocytes uh, which are white blood cells that circulate our body they are uh, they have receptors special receptors on their body uh, on their uh, cells uh, which are the antibodies when they recognize this one and of course it's the one having receptor specific for the antigen that will recognize it this one will be activated and it will transform into plasma cell starts shooting antibodies if it infected a cell then the cell as we saw before the cell will uh, each cell of our body has uh, has MHC1 on its surface it will keep the MHC1 but it will put an antigen or yeah, uh, yeah which is the protein of the virus of the pathogen infecting it on its surface therefore we have this 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 is tagged now as infected cell the infected cell might be might encounter a lymphocyte T so this is lymphocyte B this one was lymphocyte B here is the lymphocyte T killer or also called T C C4 cytotoxic. When this one spots uh, the MHC1 with the infected cell, it will know uh, infected with non-self antigen. It will know that this cell is infected, and it will destroy it. 
of course it will be activated it will divide it will create memory cells and it will destroy it by another way which is linking there releasing stuff inside it and just killing it the third way which is when the macrophage have engulfed the bacteria it becomes what we call an APC I'm still getting used to the pen so excuse my writing now this macrophage is an APC an APC is a cell that has on its surface MHC2 and it puts the non-self antigen of what it engulfed this this means when it puts this on the MHC2 this means this cell it doesn't mean that this cell is infected like here because here we had MHC1 since it put it on the MHC2 this means the cell is an alarm cell it will alarm other cells and especially the TH cell or the lymphocyte TH or the T helper cell the T helper cell has a special receptor called CD4 receptor which will recognize this and therefore it will be activated when the TH is activated of course it divides it multiplies it releases uh, oops these are not cytokines it releases proteins called cytokines which will activate lymphocyte TC or lymphocyte B depending on the type of the pathogen that have entered our body so therefore uh, these are very important for the activation that's why their uh, absence disables the whole immune system and that's why it happens in the AIDS or the infection of HIV lymphocyte T killer or B cells or lymphocyte B can be uh, activated on their own but uh, through the TH or the presence of the TH amplifies this response and you get we, you will get rid of any pathogen fast enough uh, these are called lymphocyte B because they originate from the bone marrow lymphocyte T also originate from the bo bone marrow but mature in an organ called the thymus so that's why they are called T, both TC and TH. Uh, so it starts with a non-specific response. There is a link between the non-specific and the specific that we saw here, which is through the macrophage that becomes an APC, activates the TH. Here, <clears throat> as we said, the TC kills the cells. The lymphocyte B becomes plasma. So before start shooting antibodies, becomes bigger and more proliferated and start shooting the antibodies the antibodies attach on the bacteria or the virus or the pathogen and they either they stop it from its work so they stop it from infecting other organisms and they grab many bacteria together which makes it easier for a macrophage to kill or to eat them so instead of each macrophage eating one bacteria at a time it will eat a group of bacteria together uh, hopefully I didn't forget anything this is the most important part of course there are other things that I explained in class they are also important but this is the bulk of the uh, the lesson uh, I hope this is helpful uh, as usual I appreciate any feedback good or bad and uh, let's hope this uh, helps you passing getting good grades okay and Goodbye.